everyone uh, welcome to another video so in this video we are going to discuss or so to say do a practical implementation of how we can leverage ai agents from scratch because i already created another previous video in which i was discussing about how we can create ai agents so now i'll just give you a practical overview so in this like i have created a python script from scratch and i am using uh, llm model which is gemini and i have a API key for that. So if you want, you can set up, set that up also. So we will discuss this in another video, how we need to do it. So in this video, I just wanted to give you a practical implementation. Okay. So now let's just run this script. And once I run this script, it will launch a browser window in which uh, it will go to a particular uh, job website through which it will scrape the key skills, or you can say the technical skills that it needs. Uh, for SDET roles or something like that. Okay, so whatever role you are uh, looking to get a job in so you can Update that in the script and then obviously you can get the key skills to update your resume So this is how it loads knockery.com currently and it will just go and click on the job disk uh, Particular job and then it will scroll down to get the key skills or you can say the technical skills required for the job Okay, so you can see these are the key skills now it is validating those and once this task is completed, it will give me that data. Okay, so you can see it has extracted the data and I will just copy this entirely. And then what I'll do, I have opened my chat GPT and then I have already fine tuned and pre trained the model for this particular requirement. Okay, so we will discuss about how we need to create a prompt and all for this. So I have a resume file or docx file that I've shared with the model and it the resume file accepts certain arguments and whatever data I am say I will send here so it can update in uh, in that particular file directly so I have discussed with you previously to update these key skills in my resume once updated please generate the resume in the format I have shared. Okay, so these are all free models and I'm not using any paid model for now. So what it will do is it will generate a document from scratch. And then I can just go and download this particular download uh, this particular document and then use it to apply a job. Okay. So as of now, it is uh, generating a document from scratch as you can see on the screen. And once it is created, and then we can download it. And then obviously, we can just go and use that particular updated resume to apply for that job and obviously this is also possible that we can automate this entire process end to end so i will be creating a video around that also so stay tuned and if you want you can subscribe to the channel uh, to watch that video okay so download started download completed i will just go and click on open so it says okay let me just open it give me a second and let me just open it with WPS office as you can see this is opening and this is the resume that it has generated okay from scratch I have shared only the format and this is all the data that it has generated okay so I didn't even share the how the work experience should look like it has generated everything from scratch I have shared a format using which it can accept the arguments that's it you can see this is how it has generated and it looks pretty promising to me because this is a resume that we can directly use and it also is ATS friendly because you can see the format it's quite simple and easy to understand so this such resumes are very good and uh, high, score usually high in ATS tools okay so I hope this video was useful and uh, Obviously, we will be doing more practical implementation of such AI tools and agents. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. And if you want, you can also uh, get my paid course on Gen AI. So I have already shared all the tips and tricks around implementing AI agents, creating prompts, uh, prompt cheat sheet for SDET and QA roles, or a lot of things are there. So if you want, you can take a look. I will leave the link in the description section. So we will meet in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.